Hey everybody, final thoughts time for studies and sorcery, but before I get to that, please remember folks, this is a paid Kickstarter preview, so you should take my opinions with a grain of salt. And with that out of the way, I gotta say, this is great! Jen and I have really been enjoying this. This is not quite a filler. This is a, this, there's a little bit of heft to this. I mean, we found it's about a half hour, maybe 35 minute game. I imagine it'd go up to an hour at higher player counts, I'm not quite sure. But um, it, it, it packs a lot of punch in a very, very quick uh, time frame. Four rounds, four turns each round. I love, the, by the way, that this round structure is so thematic. Um, each of the four uh, turns in a round is based on a phase of the moon. It's four weeks, and then the game takes place over four months that represents one semester. Although I think, wouldn't that be a trimester? Four months, that means you can have three... Uh, so it really should be a trimester. But anyway, regardless, um, I, I love the thematic trappings. I mean, this is obviously... A very Harry Potter-esque type setting by way of Tim Burton, you know, because it has kind of, you know, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skeleton type vibe. Because, yeah, okay, we're working on all these potions and spells and school projects we have to complete, but where do we get the reagents for it? We go down to the local graveyard and we go digging for stuff. And what you'll often find is worms that you don't need, but occasionally you will find those perfect bones or maybe even some old family heirlooms that you can trade at the market to get more stuff. And this is really the heart of the game. This push your luck element of, you know, the bird in the hand. I draw these five cards and it's like, three earthworms? I don't need three earthworms. What? Ah! I mean, yeah, sure, this other stuff is okay, but... There's three cards here. Do I just skip this and put, you know, do I skip the uh, the six birds in the uh, hand, three of which are garbage, to go for the three in the bush, which might also be garbage? I don't know. Um, that is a fun and compelling, uh, you know, concept that the whole game circles around, and it does not get boring. It continually entertains all the way through. Whether, you know, they're all empty uh, because, you know, they've all been cleared out, and we're like, ah, oh, do I take these two or this one? Or over time, if a lot of players take turns... Um, shopping, or if there's special effects that players can do that fill them up faster. Sometimes you'll have a whole bunch of choices. It is it is a sharp, fun thing. Granted, it's a little macabre. I imagine some people might be a little uh, bit uncomfortable with it. But again, if you think of it in more of a sense of whimsy, a Frank and Weenie... Frank... Uh, not Frank Miller. Um, oh, uh, Tim Burton-style setting where it's just silly. It's just the Adams Family or, um, you know, the Munsters. That kind of a scenario crossed with Harry Potter. It is just a blast. I mean, it's very evocative. It feels like it's telling an interesting story that, uh, you know, is borne out by the gameplay mechanisms. A wonderful fusion of narrative and gameplay. Much more so than a lot of other games that come out, and I really appreciate that. But then on top of that, all the projects you complete that have really interesting special effects that very much change up your overall strategy, combined with a whole bunch of these, oh, we call them thesis cards. So every time you play, you're going to get a different combination of high-level goals, but interim goals based on what you're trying to complete right now to get special powers. But then those special powers are often tied to the phase of the moon. I, it all... It just dovetails nicely. This is a well-oiled machine. It just works beautifully. Yes, there's a little bit of luck of the draw. And yes, there's even a little bit of memory element to this. And memory is something that Jen and I tend not to enjoy at all. But in spite of it, in this game, we, uh, we, we were able to put aside our disdain for the fact that, right, okay, I remember... I'm pretty sure I remember what was over there. Should I go for it? Um, so, I mean, because there's only one new card there. I, I, I turned it down before. I probably want to turn it down again. So, if you know, know that. It's a little macabre, but I think in the cutest, most adorable way. It has a little bit of memory, uh, but not so much that it turned me and Jen off. Uh, there's a little bit of luck of the draw, that, um, but I, I think really mostly it is about strategy and taking calculated risks that will pay off in the end. And overall, folks, it's just a blast. Studies in sorcery. And uh, that was the preview, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye